Hello guys, welcome to another Train Simulator video. Today I'm gonna, it's gonna be a bit of a shorter video. Uh, it's just basically the scenario I I, was, I I wanted to play and also I wanted to like record as well because those people have requested a class 390. So I thought, okay, let's do it on this map. It is on the Great uh, Western Main Line. And we're gonna be doing it on the class 90, uh, 390. Sorry, not class 90, but class 390, which is in the kind of, Virginish livery. We'll just um, open the doors now for the time being. Well, um, it's basically just a, a Heathrow Express kind of route, and it only goes up to Hayes and Arlington. But I think this is my first ever video I'm doing on the Great. Oh wow! Look at that. Look at the, look at the gap on that. This is my first ever um, uh, kind of route on the first Great Western Main Line. Big. Not too sure about that. I definitely, I definitely really like the class uh, 390. I think we're going to have some movement here. Yeah, we're going to have some movement here of uh, AI, which is really nice. I hope we do anyway. But to be honest, this kind of training in this kind of setting kind of makes sense. Oh, we have to stop at Eating Broadway as well. Oh, I thought it was just directly. Okay, well, let's um, let's head out anyway. Let's uh, let's start this journey. Right. So we're going to forward, and let's go. Let's get our power going. Lights on. kind of train for an electric train, this train really does take some time to to get into gear for an electric train. It's probably because it's quite long, quite heavy. I doubt that. It should, it should it's not uh, well these kind of long um, intercity trains, they don't really need to accelerate fast. That's one of the main things they really don't. Because they're not stopping trains, they just need to accelerate to a great speed and then that's it so really accelerating fast there's no real point to be honest uh, stopping trains are the kind of trains that you need to, to have um, accelerating fast so they can like accelerate fast from each stop but these kind of trains nah, they're fine like this but it looks great coming out of uh, London Paddington speed a bit. There we go. Ah, well, that's going to... Ah, the beeping of the door still going on. Not too bad. Go on to the long view and see the train coming out. There's Royal Oak Underground Station. But anyone ever want to know where that station is? Still trying to accelerate a bit. But it doesn't matter, this kind of gradual acceleration is not too bad. But I think currently on the Heathrow Express you get the class 372s if I'm just guessing here I'm really just guessing but it's the kind of uh, it's the Hitachi trains you get on the on the service and yeah so um, you, you get currently the Hitachi trains on the uh, current Heathrow Express and you get them on Northern Rail as well and uh, those trains are pretty cool they're quite rare. That I don't see much of them. The only time I do see them is obviously on the Heathrow Express. But other than that, I don't really see them around anywhere, to be honest. So, um, it's an interesting idea of having this train as the actual uh, um, Heathrow Express. I think, personally, it's, it, it's not the best idea. Because these kind of trains, this from the Class 390s, are designed to go much further than like the distance say from London to Heathrow so it's no point of buying a whole unit just for a little short trip to an airport 
what would be cool is if these um oh we're speeding a little bit it would be what would be cool is if these trains replaced the like old high speed trains the whole the old diesel high speed trains because they're kind of getting old and um but they have already the kind of they've electrified this part of the route until Hayes and Harlington where the Heathrow Connect and the Heathrow Express cut off. But um, they haven't. Um, they're, they're thinking of extending it more to uh, more towards uh, electrifying the whole Great Eastern, uh, the Great Western Mainline route, which I think is a good idea because even though I love these diesel units, but they're kind of not keeping up with the time. Oh, like a lovely little blind. I can just put it down here. But the, the the diesel units are not keeping up with the time. I'm sorry, but they really aren't because they're 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 not slow, but obviously they cost more to run. But um, anyway, I'd like to hear guys, you guys' opinion on that. Do you think diesel units like on the Great uh, Western Main Line? Do you think they should stay or they should like electrify everything? Little horn there. And we've been given the all clear to go a hundred, which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna belt the train to a hundred straight away because obviously we need to stop at Eating Broadway, so um, I don't wanna go too fast because this train doesn't have the best brake. Okay, so we don't have a we don't have a signal in this train, a signal button. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go, we have it, good. There's one of the high speed one, uh, the high speed trains. Intercity high speed trains. Uh, what they call, they call like something the Valenta. Valenta um, diesel high speed trains or something like that. The engines are like these diesel Valenta high speed trains. But what also you can do, is you can isolate or allow the train to tilt, which I think is really cool. So if I don't want no tilting, I just put it on isolate. If I want some tilting, I put it on normal. And then I watch the train tilt. Right, we're steadily cruising along, 80 miles an hour. look to slow down soon. I think I'm going to keep it in neutral now. Because we are passing. We are passing Acton Mainline. <laughs> which is pretty close to um, Eden Broadway. Well, we are slowing down. Sh sl slowly but surely. Slowing down nicely and uh, steadily. And also, um, um, I think next week I'm going to get my ra rail driver console, so I'll do a video of that, and um, I might do some tutorial videos of it, or um, like um, do videos where I would record the train simulator gameplay and also the rail driver together. Some of them obviously I won't because it's going to be like a hassle recording the rail driver all the time, but I will do some videos where I record the rail driver and show you how it works and how and how it, um, how it goes with the with the actual game. So entering Ealing Broadway here. Let's go down now. I don't think this train can fit. Actually, it might be able to fit, but it'll probably have to go past the signal. 
Oh, actually, no. That's good. Yeah. That was actually a really good stop. Damn, you think Broadway has some really long platforms? I never really realised. But obviously, they would need to have like really long platforms because this is like intercity trains and high speed trains have to stop here. And then you have the central line and then the district line over there. Oh, and we have to stop at South Pole. Oh, this is this is this is really extra. Right, I'll do a. A view from here. Increase the power. And let's go. Little whistle. I wish more um, companies used the Pendolino, the Class 390 Pendolino. Because they're such great trains. Like I, I think, yeah, the only company really that uses it is Virgin. No other. I don't think any other. I think Virgin once leased the uh, a unit to like. Um, yes. No. Oh, I'm getting it mixed up. No. Um. I'm. I'm getting mixed up when. Um, I'm getting mixed up basically when. Um, uh, the Eurostar trains, I forgot what class they're called, but the Eurostar trains got leased to uh, GNER, the Great North Eastern Railway Company or whatever, uh, that kind of blue and red kind of livery trains, which it, does, it doesn't exist anymore, but they leased um, a two or three units to them, and I thought that was really cool, because those Eurostar trains are really cool, and, and, and they used to be on the actual main lines of Britain. And then obviously then when that finished, um, it just all went back to Eurostar. We never see any of those Eurostar trains on our actual main lines in service. But I don't think the, the Class 390 Pendolinos have ever been leased out to any other companies. But I, I might be wrong, so tell me in the comments if, if you know anything about um, them being leased to other companies. I think it suits Virgin. I really do think it suits Virgin because um, they kind of suit the kind of brand in a sense because it's 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 a fly it's a plane a flying a flying company. So um, the kind of Pendolino kind of it kind of um, looks it, the kind of train does look like it's flying in some sense if you know what I mean. Like while other trains not so much. You could argue that the Class 395 on the high speed one kind of looks like it's fine, but I think the Pendolino looks much more like a, like a plane in a sense, and it kind of then goes with the uh, Virgin kind of brand. Also, um, uh, like to just talk about what, uh, how the captioning stuff is going. It's going actually really well. I've got uh, like three or four volunteers, and I'm really happy that people are uh, taking up the challenge and, and dedicating some of their own time to, to help me and help out the channel. I'm really happy of that, and um, it's not like I'm not doing anything. I, I do help. I, I'm, I'm 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 helping out with it as well. I'm helping out people that are doing it because it's not like um, I'm just letting everyone loose and just like clueless around that. I do help with it. So no, I'm just asking everyone to do everything uh, for me. But I'm really happy for people that have um, volunteered to do it. And um, yeah, it's going well. Like a few videos, I have a f uh, people have started on a few videos and um, it's going well. Obviously it's not going to be a fast thing, but uh, I definitely think with some time and dedication we're going to have uh, some good few videos captioned so people from other backgrounds, other um, countries will be able to uh, view it in their own language on, on subtitles. So we are now entering South Hall, Platform 1. Ah, South Hall, an interesting place. This is where I went to 
This is where I went to the dentist to have a normal filling, but I needed to have, I needed to be sedated fully, like I was having an operation, because it was like some really bad filling or something like that. I don't even know why they needed to sedate me. I think it was really stupid. But yeah, they needed to sedate me, and I remember after when I uh, when I finished, oh my, I, I couldn't I couldn't walk. I was like literally had to be carried. Well, South Hall's an interesting station because uh, it doesn't really fit my train. I don't know if this well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they uh, if how they made the station, but it's not really realistic. Oh, I'll stay in the cab for this one and wait it out in the cab. But also, guys, I am listening to requests uh, of, like, um, I've been requested, say, to do London to Brighton, all stops, which I will get, uh, which I will eventually do. Um, other stuff, loads on the Edinburgh to Glasgow, and I will do that. Oh. I will do that. I promise I, I, I will do it. It's just I kind of have like, a, as I said in the previous video or the one before that, I, for tra Train Simulator right now, because I haven't done that much content of it, I'm kind of releasing content that I want to do first, and then I'm going to look at the request and then do it, because I don't want to release, say, one video on a map, and then have someone say, oh, can you do that map again, while well, I haven't done other maps, so I can just show people what maps I have, and what maps I can do, and what maps I like, so... I'd rather just do everything I want to do first, get that out of the way, get a good amount of content out there for people to see that, yeah, I play a lot of Train Simulator and I do a lot of videos, and then when that's out of the way, I'll do all the requests. station is Hazen, Har uh, Hazen Harlington, which I do believe it is our last stop, unfortunately, but this I have to say, this little scenario, I thought it was just going to be a direct drive from Paddington to Hazen Harlington, so this uh, scenario kind of surprised me, so it was a good scenario, it, it called that, like, major stations such as um, uh, Ealing Broadway, uh, South Hall, so it, it, and it, good it was a definitely a good scenario and people have said oh can you do more of the pendolino or whatever the class 390 on certain maps so yeah this, this was kind of a half a request but anyway i think yeah this is hazen harlington where like kind of the electric part of this line kind of ends i think and then it kind of verges off to the left and um that and then this would go to like Heathrow. Too slow. Alright, let's let's let I wanna I wanna uh, come out of this video and then I wanna I wanna do this one outside and do this one perfectly. Right, so we've entered the station. There we go, so now we just nicely break, nicely ease in. There we go. There we go, nice and easy, nice and easy. Get the last cab in there, get the last cab in there. And beautiful. There we go, that is how it's done. Let's just give a quick check at the back. Yeah. Right, I think that was that was a that was executed very well, I think. 
And this is Hayes and Harlington. It has uh, one, two, three, four, five platforms. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five platforms. A little bay platform there for t uh, trains terminating, terminating here. Well, mission accomplished. We we'll just like wait, let the doors close. Exit out of that. Well, mission accomplished, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, scenario of the Hero Express on the class 390. I think there's another mission for the class 360, which I think maybe stops at more stops. So I might do that in the future. So if you have any comments or whatever, questions, whatever, please comment down below. Um, I like requests and I will keep the, all the quests in mind. Uh, I, I will not brush any requests aside unless I don't have the map, obviously. Um, if you want to like and favorite the video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't and you want to keep up to date with my videos. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.